Services. A report by the Sickle Cell Foundation indicates that out of the 400,000 children who are born with sickle cell every year in sub-Saharan Africa, 14,000 are in Kenya. The report further says that the poor state of health care in Kenya has contributed to the increase in mortality and morbidity of children living with the disease. According to the survey, only five, which is 26.3 percent of health care facilities in Kenya, have staff who have been trained in sickle cell in the past five years. In total, 99 have been trained in four facilities, 75 of whom are in one facility in Nairobi. The report that covered Nairobi, Mombasa and Kisumu counties indicated that 17, which is 89.5 percent of healthcare facilities, lacked drugs for management of pain in sickle cell disease. 70 percent lacked both diclofenac IV and rectal. 64.7 percent lacked paracetamol IV and oral morphine, respectively policy for screening infants for sickle cell disease. Uh, the importance of such a policy is that we we'll enable infants to be screened at an early stage, hence preventing them from uh, getting complications and dying. This has indeed been a great gap where as far as sickle cell is concerned. All this we are trying to come up and put our hands together in order to come up with solutions for sickle cell. Today we are also giving our position paper where we'll be calling to action for various aspects or various uh, items that we would want at least they have government and also other stakeholders to understand that these are some of the gaps that we have within sickle cell community.